I, I want I, I, I want to continue with to go back to where our theme scriptures. What were our theme scriptures? Our theme scriptures was Romans 13. Romans 13 from verse 12 and 14. Psalm 105. I mean Psalm 119, verse 105. And then our theme scriptures was also 2 Thessalonians 2, verse 8. Those were our scriptures. Now I'm telling you, you know what was wrong? I'm not the person who lied. Here's my message. I prepared it. It's finished. See, I, I don't like to lie on pulpit. Even I gave table, say table, what you are teaching about. Just right there, uh, being planted in the house of the Lord. Do you see that? These things have got time. See, even now, at nine, four minutes past nine, I was busy finishing. You see that? Do you see that? Do you see that? So now when God says go back, I have to obey. I don't want to say, but I've prepared. It, doesn't, it won't work. It won't help you. Do you get my point? Do you get my point? It won't, that, I don't want to talk something that will not help you. When the Holy Spirit says do this, we have to follow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now remember our theme scripture. Our theme scripture is Romans 13 verses 12 and 14 now let's read romans 12 i mean romans romans 13 verse 12 look at romans 13 verse 12 it says night and darkness is dissolving as a new day of destiny dawns so we must once and for all strip away what is done in the shadow of the night removing it like filthy clothes so removing it like filthy clothes we will come back to that but that's not what I'm focusing. By the way, we're going to partake on the Holy Communion today. Do you understand? Using this verse. So, look, look at that. And that's where the theme scripture starts from here. And once and for all, we clothe ourselves with the radiance of light as our weapon. Did you get that? We clothe ourselves. Clothe. Clothe ourselves with what? Come on, church. Are you reading? Are you reading? Are you reading? We clothe. Can I hear young people? We clothe ourselves with what? Radiance of light. As what? As our weapons. See, now, I always thought uh, during last week, I used to say weapon. But here it says, as our weapons. Do you see that? As our what? Weapons. Pawns. Ha. Mm. Mm. Listen, Mazan Bam. By the time we finish here, many spirits that were harassing you in your finances will disappear. This is not a theory. This is a reality. And this is a truth. It says you clothe, clothe, clothe. Now, let me explain something about this clothing. This clothing that we are talking about, you, you, you see me, I'm clothed. And it's, this is my hands. You can see them. They are not clothed. You see here? I'm not clothed. But in the realm of the spirit, it doesn't work like that. When I am clothed, every fiber of my being is clothed. Are you hearing me? With every fiber, everything, everything is clothed. Now, verse 14, let's go to verse 14. Before you put the TPT, just put the, the New King James. Then let's understand something. Now, this is... Masalon, I want you to get to where I'm going. Young people, listen to me. You're going to face things as Colwyn. Face things as Kai, Mauham. But you need to go with something today. You see, when I was in that crusade ground, before I, I went there to the crusade ground, you now I said to myself, I'm close. This, this was my, my confession. I am clothed with Christ. I am clothed with the weapon of light. Do you understand? And nothing in me can have any power. Nothing in, in I mean, nothing outside of me can have any power over me. Look at verse, verse 14. It says, but put on what? The Lord Jesus Christ. And make no provision for the flesh to fulfill its life. Its, la its last. It says, Put on the Lord. Put on. That means you put your immersed. Uh, the TBT says, be immersed. 
like the baptism, when you are being baptized, you are being fully immersed. The TPT says, instead, fully immerse yourself in the Lord Jesus. Not in other things, but in the Lord Jesus. Not in other things, but in the Lord Jesus, the anointed one. And then he says, do not even waste a moment thoughts of your former identity to awaken a selfish desire. In other words, when you are clothed with Christ, what Satan will come to do, he will try to awaken your mistakes. He will try to awaken your fleshy desire. He will try to, through thoughts, when you are here, when I tell that you are clothed with Christ, Satan is whispering, but you remember you spoke a lie. Do you remember this? He's trying to awaken something in you. But the Bible says, put on Christ. Put on Christ. Go back to that verse. Don't take it out. Don't take it out. He says, don't waste even a moment's thought. A moment was thoughts. Somebody say a moment's thought. Somebody say a, mem- a moment's thought. Somebody say a moment's thought. Somebody say a moment's thought. So any other thought that will come into your mind right now, cast it out. Cast it out. You see, that's that's what happened. When you see a beautiful and naked woman in front of you coming and suddenly says, "Ah," say, hey, out, out, out. out." You, You don't waste time to meditate on that thing. You don't waste time. So they say, take, 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 still, 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 out, out, out. It's the enemy. He says, don't awaken. The flesh just lies there. It needs you to awaken it by your thoughts. But today, we understood who we are. We will not awaken the flesh. We will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. We will not fulfill the, the, the appetites of the evil one in our life. We put them to death. Hallelujah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We put them to death. When suggestions from the pit of hell come to your mind, come to your thoughts, the Bible says, cast them out. Bring every thought into subjection to the obedience of Christ. Remember 2 Corinthians 7 number 10 from verse 3. It says, for, our, for, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Then verse 4 says, for our, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty in God. To the pulling down of strongholds, hallelujah, casting down any imagination and everything that exalts itself against the knowledge of Christ, bringing every thought into captivity. Now, now that's state capture. When you talk about state capture, you need to capture your thoughts. Do you see that? Capture what? Your thoughts. You capture them to obey Christ. Why do you say that you capture them to obey Christ? Because you are clothed with Christ. Hallelujah. Somebody said, I'm clothed with Christ. I've put on Christ. Somebody said, I've put on Christ. Somebody said, I've put on Christ. Now, this is who you are. When, when those thoughts come into your system, you know what the devil is trying to do? He's trying to take you out of Christ. Now, let me show you something, Pastor Bam. The Bible says in the book of Colossians, chapter number 3, verse 3, the Bible says, you have died. That's what the Bible says. You have died. And your life is hidden with Christ in God. Listen to this. Look at it. Look at it. Very important. Don't miss this thing. It says, you are dead. So, what Satan tries by thoughts, when he put thoughts, he's trying to awaken you from the dead. Refuse to awake. Refuse to awake. Refuse to awake. Oh, young people, I say, refuse to awake. Say, I'm dead to sin. Come on, can I hear you say, young people, say, I'm dead to sin. I don't hear you. Say, I'm dead to sin. Young people, open your mouth. Say, I am dead to sin. Say, I am dead to sin. Yes, you have died. Colossians 3, 3 says, you have died. And your life is hidden with Christ in God. We, you're, you, you, now, there's a hidden. I explain this thing many, many times. Now, listen. You are with Christ. Now, you have put on this Christ. Now, when you have put on this Christ, then what happens? Then you go and hide. Where do you hide? In God. Ha. Huh? Where does God dwell? Where does God dwell? Somebody says it stays in heaven. Yes, that's part of the story. But First Timothy 6.16 it says more than heaven. 
Look at what First Timothy says. God, the immortal God, who dwells in an unapproachable light. I, my goodness. The God who dwells where? In an unapproachable light. Now, this is the story. The story is this. You, you, are, you are hidden with Christ. That's the story. You are hidden with Christ. And where in Christ? In God. God who dwells where? In an unapproachable light. Ah, ah this is big. This is big. Mm. Who alone is immortal. Don't, don't take up scriptures quickly, man. Who alone is immortality. Dwell. That's the dwelling of God. See, when you say, where does God dwell? Somebody say, in heaven. That's part of the story. But in heaven, where? In an unapproachable light. Whom no man has seen. To whom be the honor and everlasting power. You know, I always thought to myself, when they say no man have ever seen God, I thought, you know, God is a selfish God. But the truth is, that light... Is a light. Yeah. Ah, yeah, it's a light. Yeah. yeah, it's not that God doesn't want to be seen. It becomes impossible to see Him. Yeah. Now, I, I, look, look, look. Okay, somebody come, come, come stand here, Moose. Look, look, look at this light. Look at this. Look, look at this light. Can you stand for 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 hours looking at this? You cannot. But it's just a man-made light. It's a man-made light. It will damage your eyes after some time. So think about God. That light, that, that God that dwells in that light. It's unapproachable because the minute you see that light, you, you, you just can't stand it. That, that, that's why it says, whom no man can see. <laughs> eh? But then, the Bible says, in, in Romans 13, Verse 40, verse 12, it says, Clothe yourself with the light. Hey, Pastor Luan, I, I, I want you to see this thing. When you are going out of this place today, you will see things differently. You will see who you are differently. You will see what you have differently. Because God wants to see you differently. The God who dwells in an unapproachable light. You are hidden with Christ in God. That's why the Bible says, Man is spirit. He lives in a body. Now your spirit is dwelling there. But your physical senses cannot comprehend it. But right now, you are here, but you are there. You are here, that you are there. That's why it says, set your mind on things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. And the Bible says to, in, in, in Ephesians 2 verse 6, it says that we are seated together with Christ in the heavenlies, where there is an unapproachable light. Now, John 1 verse 4 declares something. John 1 verse 4 says, in him was life. And that life was the light of men. That light of men, you must be clothed. What is the purpose of the light? Why pass out talk about the light? Now, Second Thessalonians tells us the mystery behind the light. Are, are you here, Pastor? Are you sure you are here? Are you sure you are here, young people? Oh, as a Christian, you know, today, if you live in defeat, it's your fault. It's your fault. It's your fault. And then the lawless one, that means the Antichrist, other version will begin to say, this is the Antichrist. The man of sin. Other version says, and the man of sin, the lawless, the man of iniquity, the man of sin, the Antichrist will be revealed. Oh. Whom God, I wonder if Jesus will destroy. Okay, yeah. He will consume. He says he'll consume with the breath of his mouth. Oh, that's why you will see sometimes when I pray for people, I'll say, <laughs> like what? You consume spirits. They are afraid of the breath of God. It's not my breath, it's, it's Jesus' breath in me. And then I love this one. And shall destroy the antichrist with the brightness of his coming. Oh. And I said to you, to Musa, watch this thing. 
when you watch that light, if you are here closer, if you are closer, we are, we are closer than this light or closer than this light, you can see what I'm talking about. When you see that's, this, just this man made light, it's so, it's so strong to such an extent that y- y- you can't stay for long. Or if you look at the sun for a long time, it will destroy your eyes. But think about that. That you are approaching God. He says, God, by the brightness of his coming, here comes that light. It comes. And there's an antichrist. There's a, there are demonic spirits around. There are. Am I preaching to the right church? Am I, am I preaching to the right church? Am I pre- Can you take out the baby, please? Please, please. Please, please, please. This is we're talking big stuff. Please, 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 please. Please, 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 please. This come bless him, bless him, bless him, bless Mrs. Kumbi, bless him down Allah. I want to pray for the child. I want to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the light of heaven shine upon this child. Yes, yes. Every sickness in his body, I command it to go up. I'm just seeing things in this. When I say, when I say, take it out, the Lord said, pray for the child. My goodness. Come, come, let me pray for you. The, the, the Lord, somebody carry the child. Because I can see, you know, when you are preaching, the Lord, lift up your hands, lift up your hands. Lift, I mean, stretch out your hands, sorry. Stretch your hands. There's interruption. Bring, bring. The Holy Spirit, thank you for what you are doing to this child. Thank you for what you are doing to this child. Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Yes, the deliverance is not. See, the deliverance is as okay even unto you right now. That anxiety. Go! Go from him in the name of Jesus. Yes. Stand. Stand. Thank you, Lord. Just pray another tongue. Just for, 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 for two minutes. Uh, just for two minutes. Pray another tongues. I know what I'm doing. But I must move by the Spirit. You know, I thought this child is distracting. And the Holy Spirit is. No, 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 no. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Pray in other tongues, church. That light, when you pray in other tongues, that light shall come. The brightness of his coming. The brightness of his coming. The brightness of... By the time you go out of this place, you will have an encounter with this Jesus. By the time you go out of this place, you will have an encounter with this Jesus. Oh, Pray in other tongues. Pray in other tongues. Shakata karaba mantoya. Karaba mantoya. Karaba mantoya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember the Bible says in 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 8. This Jesus will come and destroy the wicked one. He will come and destroy the enemy by the brightness of his light. I hear what I'm saying, Pastor Alabam. And the Bible says you, you yourself, that, uh, you are hidden there. The Bible says when you are clothed with that light, imagine that same light which is brighter and brighter and brighter. The Bible says you are clothed with that light. When you appear, oh my goodness. The, the, look, look, look at Colossians 3 verse 4. Put Colossians 3 verse 4. Put Colossians 3 verse 4. Listen, Pastor Alabam. You catch this thing. 
you are going out of the marketplace the marketplace has no chance but to obey you you will subdue the marketplace for the purposes and the kingdom of God look at that when Christ who is our life shall appear you will appear with him in glory when the brightness of his coming appear the Bible says also you also you oh my goodness you enter your home. They say in this home there are demons. No, there's another one that is powerful than demons that is entering. That man is clothed with the brightness of his light. Am I in the right church? I say, Am I in the right church? I say, Am I in the right church? I say, Am I in the right church? He says, When Christ who shall appear? When Christ, who is our life, he will appear with what? With you with you you will appear with him you will appear with him in glory what is the meaning of that glory that brightness mm. Mm. am i in the right church am i in the right church mm. am i in the right church listen to me the bible says that brightness will destroy the antichrist i don't care how powerful the force of darkness you are, uh, you are, you are encountering i don't care how powerful the financial struggles you are facing i don't care but the bible says when you will appear around that problem the bible says that then the mountains shall be leveled the mountains shall be leveled at your coming ayapala 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 Aya pala, aye koro mai katala mama, aya karama mai kota karama mala, aya mai kota karama mama mama. Listen to me, church. Miracles are not accidental. We make them. Right now, we are making some miracles. We don't wake up and say, "Oh, this is a miracle." No, no, no. We make them. We create an expectation and we understand who we are and we speak who we are in such a way when the spirits come and, and try to frustrate you they know that they can't mess up with you we will open a highway where the spirits will never walk in that highway the, the highway of financial breakthrough listen this is not about us this is not about selfish desire it's about who God says you are by applying the weapon that God has given you remember this you are clothed with the weapon of light somebody say I'm clothed with the weapon of light Somebody shout, I'm clothed with the weapon of light. Somebody shout, I can't hear you shout. Do you believe it? Shout it more louder. I said, Do you believe it, young people? Do you believe it, young people? Shout louder. Are you clothed with the weapon of light? Are you clothed with the weapon of light? Are you clothed? When the weapon of light is in you, when you appear, the brightness of his coming destroys the wicked one, destroys the financial struggles, destroy my goodness, destroys. I, I was telling you that I was meditating on, 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 on John 8, verse 32. Put, I mean, verse 12. Put that verse. Put that verse. John 8, verse 12. Ay, 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 ay. Listen. This prayer is not about asking God for things. Are you hearing me? It's got nothing to do with uh, we have asked God is enough. Eh? Yeah. We have asked God and God has answered. The very first day Claudette wrote to, uh, read to us says the very first day that you prayed, God answered you. So this prayer has got nothing to do with what, what you've been praying for. But I'll tell you what it's to do with. Look at that verse. Jesus spoke again and said, I am the light of the world. Ah, he that follows me shall not walk in darkness. Shall not walk in what? In darkness. But shall have the life of life. The light of life. The light of life. Life has a light. And life has darkness also. Mazalwan, darkness is a person. As much as you say, it's not only the absence of light, but darkness is a person. Darkness is ignorance. Darkness is when Satan invades that area. Do you remember? Do you, do you remember? Do you remember uh, 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 Matthew 4, verse 14 and 15 and 16? The Bible says, The people who dwell in darkness have seen the great light. And the people who dwell in the shadow of light. And it says the dark places of the earth. In Psalm 74, it says the dark places of the earth 
are filled with the habitation of cruelty. Let me tell you, Basalan Bam, in the marketplace, it is ruled by darkness. And there are habitants of cruelty in the marketplace. They are cruel. You, you meet people who are cruel in the marketplace. But I want to tell you, I want to submit to you to this, that there are people who are so special, who are closed with light, who want to dispel darkness by their coming. Yes, the marketplace. Let me tell you. And I'll tell you this thing. The marketplace is a spiritual place. The marketplace where you say, no, I want to go to the corporate world. You know, those who are educated, I want to go to the corporate world. You know, you don't know that you are going to a spiritual place there. It's a spiritual place. It's occupied by spiritualists. Did you know that some of the biggest companies, they hire Satanists to pray over their products? They are, they are on payroll. You don't understand. They hire cultists to. They are there. They say, no, 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 no. These guys are. They disguise as a. What do you call motivational speakers? And some of them, they disguise as the, you know, coaches. Yeah, yeah. They know. They are coming there from the underworld. Hmm? Some of the alcohol. They are there. They are there. They are there. You'll find them. People who are spiritualists and you want to compete with them. Say, no, no, me, I've received you. You know this language today. Oh, everything was done on the cross. Continue. <laughs> Continue. Continue without exercising the power behind the cross. Oh, you know, you'll be lied to by these people of the Christ. The Christ people you lie to. As powerful as Christ is. Christ is power, Basalwan. I, I'm not here to ashamed and shame the gospel of Christ. But I want to tell you that what they are telling you is not complete. Yes, it's like saying, oh, me, I'm in South Africa, there's a co the constitution that protects me. Eh? That's what you're saying. Uh, there's a constitution in the country that's protecting me. And, and they will kill you. You need to understand how to exercise those rights that are enshrined in the constitution. Do you understand that? And, and if you're saying, Christ did it all, why are not people born again? The Bible says, for God so loved the world. He loved the world. But he, he, there's a condition. Whosoever shall believe and confess. That's a condition of that inheritance. And there are conditions of the Christ who died for the cross as far as man is concerned. You need to exercise those things because the spiritualists have understood certain things. They understood certain things. They understood that if they can say certain things, you will say, I'm born again. But you have not exercised those things. That's why I'm, I, 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 I am hearing you to, ex, I, I'm, I'm here to tell you to exercise what you have in Christ. So when you stand in the marketplace, you stand with the competitors, you know who you are. Let me tell you, Basalan Bam, why in the music industry, there's this girl right now who came out of, no, I don't, I don't, I've never, listen, I've never heard that song. I don't even know that song. Uh, in the hearing of my ear and the girl now out of nowhere she's got 400 whatever million she won a Grammy I don't, out of nowhere I don't even know that girl do you, I, don't, I don't even hear the music I don't even, nobody knows do you know the song I don't, I don't even know the song do you, do you know the song do you know the song okay what makes okay let's, let's come to this what makes the song to have 400 million views what makes it better than all the musicians who were there for 20 years. You, you, you ignore this thing at your peril, Basalan Bam. What makes people okay? Are there no other social media platforms other than Zubapek? Other than the, the, the X? Why are they not there? Where is Mixi today? Yeah, we grew up under Mixi. <laughs> Where, where is that thing? Dead. Yeah. Are there no other program other than Microsoft that you can type, use the word, or Excel? Are there no? Years ago, we have, we have a, 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 a program called Lotus 1, 2, 3. I don't know whether you know that Lotus. It, it's, a, it's a spreadsheet program. Work the same way as Excel, but it's nowhere. Where? Is, is, that, is, that, is, that, is that Microsoft powerful? Is your Apple phone more powerful? Do you know who runs the Apple Tom, Tom whatever? He's gay. Oh. 
you Christians, you are choking with who you are. You are choking on what you have. What you have is more powerful than what these people have. Let me tell you, the marketplace is so scared of you. But you are so scared of them. You, you exalt them as if they are the gods. Let me tell you, the Bible says in Psalm 81, if I not tell you that you are gods, you are the children of the Most High. But the Bible says you shall die like one of them. I refuse to die like one of them. I refuse to be ordinary. I refuse. The marketplace shall know me. Darkness has no power over me. I rule the marketplace. We're going to pray today. We're going to pray today. The Bible says, Jesus says, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Let me tell you, life has got no challenges over me. Life shall not become a mystery in my life. I refuse that life become a mystery to me, for I have the light of life. Somebody say, 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 I have the light of life. So if you have the light of life, let me show you what God said to Cyrus, a king who did not know God. God comes because he sees that they that know God are so scared. He comes and get a man called Cyrus and he says, Cyrus, 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 my anointed one. Put Isaiah 45. Thus says the Lord to his anointed to Cyrus, whose right hand I have held. Oh my goodness. Oh, to subdue nations before him and lose the armor of kings. What it means there, this guy, these kings, you, you just read what, 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 uh, Claudette was reading in Daniel 10. He says, the king of Persia. We stood me in the heavens. This was not just an ordinary king. But there was a king of Persia. But he says, no. That one stood before me in the heavens. And God speaks to Cyrus. Says, Cyrus, you will subdue the demonic kings. I'm paraphrasing. You go read the book of Isaiah. From number 12, he's calling upon the king of Tyre. But he explains who Satan is. And some other 18 and somewhere, he talks about the king of Babylon. He explained the demonic king of Babylon. Let me tell you, where you are operating in, where God, if God is deployed on radio, there is a principality over there. You need to subdue it. Yes. He's called the prince and the power of the air. The airwaves. He controls the airwaves. He controls what must be listened to. But let me tell you, when people of the light comes, and generally they know who they are. They begin to subdue the light, the airwaves. Oh my goodness. Musicians in our church, what makes you, the gospel musicians, sell their soul? They don't know who they are. They don't know that their songs can, comprehend, can conquer the airwaves. You know, when you say, you go over the class in, or I mean a line in, a line in, in a line. And if you have a beat that. And then what's your book, what's your sabu, you to lead. And that's what you must do in the spirit. You must go and build her in the spirit. I don't know the English word. You must go and build her. They were there. They were ruling. The light comes. The brightness of the light comes. They have to go this way and that way. In the major space. In the entertainment space. In the mining space. You subdue kings. People who have been ruling there. Subdue them. The problem is this. We always preach. Selfishness. Oh, give it shall be given unto you. Good measure, press down. Yes. But there's more than giving this thing. There are spirits operating. Do you understand what I'm saying? There are spirits in operation there. Look at what God is saying. Let me show you what is happening. Go, go continue. It says to lose the armor of kings. To open double doors so that the gate will not be shut. What does that mean, Bazalan? There is what we call a highway in the spirits. And there are gatekeepers in the spirit. And when you come, you deal with the gatekeepers and the doors will be shut. Such that all your family members shall come and drink from the water and the well that you have opened, the gates that you have opened. 
Young people, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter as young as you are. You can open the case for your fathers never to lack. For your mothers, for your brothers, for your sisters. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? What you have? I will go before you and make the crooked place straight. Ah, this is so big. And I will break in pieces the, the gates of bronze and cut the bars of iron. You know the prison case was on bam. There are iron gates. If you read the, the, the book of, of Acts chapter number 12, you will discover something very important. I don't want us to call it because of time. When you read, you find that the Peter, through the prayers of the saints, the Bible says there came an angel shining bright. That the, because of the brightness of that angel, the gate opened by itself. So the cars of iron, I told you that this thing is not like a, you go and put a hammer. The light is like a, a cutter, a, la a laser or cutter. It cuts. It's like a laser. It cuts. Your, your light shall appear and it cuts like a laser. So the Bible says when you go there, you break the gates of bronze and cut the bars of iron. That gates are open. What's there in the gates? What's there after the gates? What is there after the gates? I say, what is there after the gates? I say, what is there after the gate? It is your prayers that you have been praying for long. Huh? No, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. This, this, this explains. I will give you treasures of darkness. It doesn't say I will give you treasures in the... Huh? Read the English. It doesn't say I will give you treasures in darkness. He says, I will give you the treasures la Ebum Nyama. I Ebum Nyamen. Ebum Nyama. Because darkness is a person. Because darkness is a spiritual place. He is a person and yet is a place. Just like Christ. Christ is a person and is a place. For the Bible says, if any man be in Christ, you are in Christ as a person, in a place called Christ. And there's a place called darkness ruled by hell. And there are prisons there in hell. And in the prisons, they have captured your soul. They have captured your riches. They have captured your treasures. They are kept every time you pray. That those riches are captured and they are stored there. But they are waiting for you and me who understand this mystery. Who want to come closed with the weapon of light. When the enemy shoots at those arrows of hurts and pains, shoots at them, what dispels those arrows is the light. Ah. Mm. Am I talking to someone? I say, am I talking to someone? Am I talking to someone? It says, hidden riches in secret places. Satan hides things for you. He doesn't want you to know. I'll tell you how Satan hides things. A person dies. When a person dies, how he hides, you will hear uh, 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 about the, the, about, about, about the, what the condolences that people will be saying that Satan has hidden the truth from people. And because people are lazy to seek the truth, you will hear them saying, Oh God, why did you kill this person? Why do you label God a killer? Yet you know that Satan is evil. But when it comes to people who die, you say, God has killed the person. And then, you don't attribute all the negativity regarding death. Yet the Bible says death is an angel. The Bible tells you that. Death is an angel. Death is, is there's a, 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 and hell. They are twins. You know? And hell... Hell is a place and a living organism. It's a living thing. Hell is alive. That's why the Bible says, it doesn't say I will destroy hell. It says, no. I, I, then John says, I saw hell and death being thrown into the lake of fire. Yeah. So when people die now, they are not going to the lake of fire. They are going to be tormented not by God in hell. They are going to be tormented by Satan in hell because he rules over hell. Are you hearing me, church? That's why, that's why he hides things for you there. But do you know 
that you can go to hell now. Pastor, what are you saying? Yes, I'm saying exactly what I'm saying. As a Christian, you can go to hell. Not to be tormented by the devil, but to torment the devil. <laughs> yeah. Now, we're going to do that tonight, this morning. We will torment him. We'll go to hell. We'll go to hell. Remember, our, li oh, our life is hidden with Christ in God. Now, you are here. Physically, I can watch Musa. But the Bible is telling me that Musa, your life is hidden with Christ in God. But I can see you. But I can see you. Put Ephesians 2 verse 6. Let me show you something. Ephesians 2 6. Pastor Lord, do, you, do you get what I'm saying? Do you get what I'm saying? Say, Pastor, what are you talking about? It says, and he has raised us up together and made us sit together. We are seated. It doesn't say you are going to be seated together. He says, he has made you to sit together with Christ. Where? 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 Where in the heavenly places? Heavenly what? Places. Not place. Places. That means there are different components of place in heaven. You cannot finish heaven. So, if, if you agree with me that right now, as much as I see you, think you are seated together with Christ. That means I can go to hell now. But I'm going to hell to do what? To torment the devil. He says, I, I will give you treasure. Ah. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let, let's explain this. Put, put, put Matthew 4, Matthew 4, verse 15 and 16. Put Matthew 4. Look, look at that. Look at it. He says, I'll give you what? Treasures of what? Of darkness. Do you agree that? Do you agree there? Ah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Put, 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 put that verse. You, oh, which version is that? Call up verse 15. I don't even know what version I'm putting there. What version is that? Eh? Don't put the TPT. Put, put, put the other one. Put, put, put the new King James. I want the people to see something. Yeah. The land, he's talking about the land of Zebulon. It's a physical place. The land of Zebulun and of Naphtali, by the way, they see beyond, Gen beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. Now, do you see this is a physical place? It's a physical place. But look at verse 16. The people who sat in darkness <laughs> have seen a great light. Now, how do you see the people sitting in darkness when it's, when it's, when, 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 I mean, it's a mean light. Huh? They are sitting in darkness. They, are, the Bible says, they have seen the great light. And the people who sat in the region of the shadow of death. There are people who are living in the valley of the shadow of death. Do you remember David what he said in Psalm 23? He says, even though I walk in the valley of death. Of the shadow of death. This place is deep in hell. He says these people who are sitting there. That place is a dark place. It's not a physical. It's not a physical place. It's a dark place. That's why he says in, some, in Isaiah 60. Arise and shine. For your light has come. Hmm? He says the people are filled with gross darkness. He says the earth is covered with darkness. That means hell has risen and came dark and you, you can see a person. Have you seen a person who is full of darkness? You can see the person cannot hear you. I went to hospital to visit Setu and, and, and then I said hey, and, and we said to Dr. Russell, he says hey this man, let's pray for this man. And the hospital said to me this man is already dead. But he was breathing. Already. And I said, okay, let me go and pray for that person. But the Holy Spirit already told me, that man is gone. There's nothing I can do. He's gone. It's only if I had the ability to go and raise him from the dead. And then I said, oh, okay. Then Dr. Russell told me, he said, Pastor, do you remember the guy that you went to pray for? Ah, that man. The following day, he was gone. The Holy Spirit already told me. 
You just, I don't think you are understanding. You people can be alive, yet they are dead. One day I saw a lady in hell. I was in a dream. I saw a lady who was alive in hell. She was alive. And God said in that dream, said, go snatch them out in the fire. I went in the dream. And I saw demons raping people in hell. And I took her out. She's alive today. And I know that if I did not, I was not praying for that girl. She would be dead by now. Yes. Dead by now. But let me tell you, it's a privilege. But what, let me tell you, but I'm not there yet. What, what I'm trying to show you is that hell, darkness, can take what is yours. Frustrate the prophetic word of God. If you don't know, and you believe, so you be frustrated, and you don't believe that the things that you are declaring in this church can work. But tonight, I mean this morning, oh, we are dealing with it. We are dealing with it. And I said, the people who said they like a mighty wind, they've seen a great light. I said, the people of who said it like a mighty wind, they've seen a great light. And that great light has gone to darkness and take what belongs to them. Are you ready to pray? Are you ready to pray? Put your hands over your, st your, your stomach. Put your hands over your stomach. Put your hands. I want to pray. I want to pray. Put your hands. Everybody, put your hands over there. Put your both hands. Not one. Put your both, both, both hands. Both hands. You see, the Bible says, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Rivers of living water. Say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I know who I am. I am born again. I am born of God. And I'm born from above. And I am born by the word. And said, the word of God became flesh and dwell in me. Somebody shout, the word of God dwell in me. The word of God dwell in me. Somebody shout, we thought the word was not anything made. That was me. Right now, I speak the word. I speak the word. I speak the word. I speak the word. For the people of like a mighty wind who were sitting in darkness have seen the great light. For I am clothed with Christ. I am clothed with the Lord Jesus Christ. I have put on Christ. I have put on Christ. Therefore, I am clothed with the light. Say, my life is hidden with Christ in God. The God who dwells in an unapproachable light. In Christ, there was life. And that life became my light. My light. And therefore, I am clothed with light i am clothed with light i am clothed with light this light is weapon is a weapon this light is a weapon that weapon through the brightness of that light destroyed the wicked one yes 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 we're not done yet i'm just showing you who you are you're we're just declaring who you are we are just declaring who you are. This is who you are, Barcelona. As a Christian, I'm showing you as a Christian who you are. Right now, we're going to declare somebody shout light. 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 You know when you're shouting, shouting light, do you know what is happening? The, by the virtue of light that is inside you, you are shouting. You are activating Psalm 119 verse 105. The Bible says that the, the truth shining light causes you to choose wisely. To take decisions that are wise. Yes, it's in the Bible. Put it there. Psalm 119 verse 105. Put it there. Put it there. Quickly, quickly. TPT. Listen. If now declare, you are activating. It says truth shining light guides you. Do you see that? Guides you where? In your choices, in your decisions, when you proclaim the light, it will be impossible for you to take a wrong decision. It will be impossible to take a wrong choice. When you're about to marry, you will not marry wrong. Trust me on this one, church. You see, you see, trust me. You know, if 
if Satan has come through you and then you, f- you feel in love. But when you declare this thing, that person is wrong. No matter how much you feel in love, that person, the light will chase him. Chase him away from you. It will be impossible. You do a business deal that is out of God. It will be impossible for that business to fail. Let me tell you, you are declaring things. No more failures in business anymore. I say no more failures in business anymore. No more failures in peace anymore. I said, no more failures. No more failures. It will not, no matter how much you try to put your money, it will not work. No matter how much you try to do it, it will not work. Because the light will guide you. The light, uh, are you not, these people, are, are, are you here? Are, are you sure you are here? Are you sure you are here? Ah, I'm talking to this two audience. This audience doesn't want what I'm talking about, so I'm leaving it. I'm leaving them. When I say light, they are looking at me. Somebody shout light. light. Somebody shout light. light. Somebody shout light. light. Now you, you seem to be ready now. Okay, listen to this. Put your hands back. I was just explaining something to you. We, we are doing an automation right now. Say, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I activate that light in me. I activate that light in me. I shout that light. I shout that truth shining light. I shout that truth shining light. Say light, 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 light. Arise, arise, arise. Say right now, by this light, by this light, I go to hell. I go to hell. I go to the gates of hell. I say, all oh, you gates, all oh, you gates of hell be lifted up be lifted up be lifted up and i take back what is mine every treasure that belongs to me right now i take it now i take it now i take now i take my answered prayer i take my prayer now i take my prayer now i take my prayer now 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 i take what is mine i take what is mine i take what is mine say darkness cannot overcome me now it cannot overcome me now i rule over darkness i rule over the forces of darkness i rule the marketplace say marketplace marketplace hear the word of the lord the light ones are coming here i am i am coming now and i subdue you now pave the way pave the way i take what is mine oh you market I secure you now. I take what is mine now. I take what is mine now. I subdue you now for the purposes of the kingdom of God. I subdue you now by the blood of the Lamb. I subdue you now by the power of the Holy Ghost. So, all you market, all you marketplace, hear me now. Hear me now. Release what's mine. Release my businesses. Release my finances. Release them now. Release them now. Release them now. Release them now. 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 Say from this moment on, I will not walk in darkness. From this moment on, I will not walk in darkness. I will not walk in darkness. I will not walk in darkness. For I have the light of life. I know what to do. The truth shining light is guiding me in my decisions. It's guiding me in my choices. I know what to do. Someone say, I know what to do. I know what to say. I know what to do. For the light of heaven is guiding me. I'm an overcomer. 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 I have overcome. I have overcome. I have overcome the marketplace. I have subdued the marketplace. I have overcome my businesses. Let me tell you, when you speak like this on a daily basis, 
wherever the Lord has deployed you, you'll find yourself ruling. See, it's, it's not a once-off thing. When you declare it, see, when you're declaring this thing, it's not for God to do it. It's for your faith. Because the Lord has done it. When you declare it, declare it over and over again. You are not declaring so that God can change his mind or Satan can change his mind. So that your faith can arise. When your faith is, is at the top, 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 at the top, the Bible says, this is the victory. First John 5 verse 4 says, this is the victory that overcome the world. Even our faith. Not God. Do, do, do you get what I'm saying? You are not doing this. You are not saying these things for God. For you, when I say it over, your faith keep on rising. Keep on rising. Keep on rising. The thing is, you are saying it and saying it. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no, no. Every time, every thought thing, take away from the Cast it out. Let it not be awakening you. Are you hearing me? Let it be awake and you cast it out. Every time you see something contrary to the prayers, to what you have been declaring, you, you, you will go out of this place right now. And things that are contrary to what you are saying will be happening. Remember, don't stop talking. Don't stop saying. Keep on saying it. Keep on saying it. In no time, you will wonder. Things will become collected. Not, not from one side. From every side. They will come and change it towards you. Things that you have even forgotten about. Prayers that you have even forgotten about. That you prayed from yesteryear. Your dreams as a girl will just come to pass. For the Bible says, I restore that which the locusts have eaten. I restore years. God does not restore. Just, just restore, he restore years. Yes. Yes. When you are a woman, you have lost your, your prime of your time. But God can restore you. And you see this man, he sees, when he looks at you, he sees you as a young girl. He says, but how, how, how am I a young girl? All he sees is this girl. Wow. Wait, wait, how old are you? He'll tell you age. Say, no, 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 that's not true. I, 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 are you 35? Oh. No, 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 you're 23. You know, you're lying. Let me see your ID. You don't know God. You guys don't know God. I can see. God restore years. He doesn't restore hours. He restores years that the locusts have eaten. Years. Yes. You can never deal. We have lost all these years. You've been losing, 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 losing. And God, by one deal, he set you for life. Yes. One deal set you for life. Yes. Yes. That's God. That's the God I serve. That's the God you have. That's the light you have. Go with the light wherever you are going. Let the true shining light shine. Everywhere you go, demons must vacate because the one who is full of light is coming. Not depression have got up. Let me tell you, if Satan come and put depression, depression have to go. You don't have to cast it. It will come into call the light and the light will cast the depression away. This, listen, I'm teaching you beyond binding and losing. The church have been binding and binding and binding and binding and things have not been happening. But this is bigger than binding. The light. Somebody shout the light. So that's why it says arise and shine for the light has come the light has come it has come now it has come now not demon of hell can stand you like am i doing not demon of hell can stand me let me tell you when i was at pitches i was telling you i was praying this prayer by myself I, oh god i'm clothed with light i'm clothed with light i've put on christ i've put on christ i secured the the, the, the crown that crown was called gate um, what do you call uh, heaven's gate something like that Gate Park. Yes, Gate Park. Uh, gate, gate Park of the heavens. And I said, I secure that place. I secure that place. That place, I rule over it. That's why the moment I step in there and I preach the gospel, you know, one, 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 one guy was driving me. He said, he was standing one, next to one, one woman. He said, oh, the words of this Muruti, they are piercing my heart. Do you understand? The words of this Muruti were piercing my heart. And as I called the altar call, I said, come. The people were flocking like this. And as they were coming, before me laying hands, the power fell on them. And demons started crying and screaming. You don't understand. Demons were screaming left, right, and center. You see, Magamata is true. What you saw in, if you were in Mozambique, what you saw in Mozambique was literally what happened there. Yes. Yes, go, and, and you're going to see more. Right now, you're going to see people rising up on wheelchair. I was watching Pastor Chris yesterday. He, had, he was having a healing streams. And as I was watching him, you know what he did? The man said, out, out. He doesn't say out. He says, do you want? Just like that. 
do you want to be healed? <laughs> Think about it. He, he says, he explains and say, you know, Jesus not only casted out devils, he was just speaking a word. And he said, be healed, be healed. Then he looks at the people that are sitting. They're, 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 see, I'm talking about serious cases, not small cases. Be healed. Oh, you are healed. You are healed. No, no touching. You are healed. You are healed. And people coming out of wheelchairs just like that. He says, okay, let me show you what the power does. Come here, all of you. The power of the Holy Ghost. And I'm just showing you. <laughs> then he says, be healed. No, no, no. No noise. How, how many times you are in the country of the You people of the... Ah, 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 ah. He's talking serious cases. And that's what you'll be seeing, Basadwa. You are not far from those days. I said, you're not far from those days. And those days are here now. And those days are starting by your finances. Those days are starting by your finances. Your finances, I speak to your bank account. Okay, listen. Put, 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 as I close right now, put, put, put Jeremiah 22, 29. Listen, I want to speak to your bank account. This is true. I told you, Basal Mam, I was coming. I never asked that guy money. I never asked him. You know, I, said, I was just talking about something. Then he says, Do you have a GO payment? Listen, this thing works. I was busy declaring this week. Do you have GO, GO payment? I don't have it. I didn't ask him anything. This is one thing to say, Okay, please, man, give me 2000 And that's okay. I don't have money. I have zero. My wife can tell you, I have no money. He says, Open your app, man. Your app is there. I said, okay, just search it. Just search it. And I search it. He says, okay. Does it say, what does it say now? I say, it says now, let this one say, say press it. I press it. I say, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, I'm thinking maybe it's going to give me 3,000 or four. <laughs> hey. 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 Do, do, do you understand what I'm talking about? Now, what, what, you are, what you are talking about? This is what I've been talking from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I've been telling you this thing. And I'm telling you it's not for me, but for you. Look at that, Jeremiah 22, 29. Earth, earth, earth. Hear the word of the Lord. Lift up your arm of strength. Say, oh Lord. Say, oh Lord. Say, oh my bank account. Oh my bank account. Oh my bank account. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Be filled. Be filled. Be filled. Yes, that's the way, that's the language of the spirit. Things are not accident. No, no. You, you, the way God works, he just, I love God. He, he, he causes you know, to look at people. He closes every channel that you think you can be blessed with. So that you can see that this is God. That I, that he says in, in Isaiah 45, put Isaiah 45 verse 3. Look at Isaiah 45 verse 3. He God, the God that I serve, he closes every channel, Musa. Your, your, your contacts, God does not need your contacts. He doesn't need your networks. God doesn't operate that way. Forget your networks. Forget your contacts. Look at God. says, start you may know. Look at that. I'll give you trace of the darkness. And hidden riches of the secret places. Why? That you may know that I, the Lord who call you by your name, the God of Israel. Yes. When we say, when we speak to things, you speak, things are hearing. Things can hear. Your bank account has got ears. It hears your voice. The marketplace. Let me tell you where God has deployed you in your business. In your business, where they are trying that that is coughing, that is coughing, that is coughing. But I'm telling you today, this week, that's why I told you, I will not let you go until you see you succeed, until you testify. Because the Bible says, by our testimony, we will overcome the the, the, the dragon will overcome by the word of our testimony. I hear what I'm saying. Your bank account has hear your voice. The marketplace have heard your voice. I said the marketplace have heard your voice. And I deploy to your marketplace. Go with the light. I said go with the light. 
None of us shall go hungry in this place. None of us shall beg in this place. I don't care about the dollar rent exchange. It doesn't matter to me. What matter is the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Receive the word of the Lord. All you bank accounts of these people, receive the word of the Lord. All you businesses of these people, receive the word of the Lord. Right now, I command those businesses to come with contracts. I speak for strange monies. I speak multiplication right now. I speak multiplication right now. You will do business with zero sense by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Receive the anointing of the Holy Ghost. 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 The anointing to do business. That job that you're looking for, I command it to come and turn it towards you right now.